Sister's Hut. It is the unique, uh, actually. Haven't seen it before. No, there's no other winery in the world that has these things. Are mm -hmm. seriously? Yes. So you you kind of create that? We create them, and they're patented. So what is actually the the material of this? It is concrete. It's concrete. Mm -hmm. Okay. About twelve thousand liters. Eight of them. Yes. This is to make red wine. Oh, you this make is to make everything red here. wine. No, no, only I have only made uh, red wines in here. I want to know a little bit um, about your personal life. I'm married. And Not, I have two personal. Kids. <laughs> <laughs> Not too personally. I know your family uh, has been involved into the wine industry for so long time. Yes. So how everything started? I mean, how do you get this? Whoa, well, well, I'm the ninth generation of my winemakers. The ninth yes. generation. So this is like your grand grandfather were making already wine? Yes, yes. This this story. Came with Cristobal Colón. Sure. The first one there that came in Chile was in the 16th century. He started making wines. In he came from which country? France. From France. Ooh, he started out making wines in the micro region, uh -huh. Peña Flor, uh -huh. and then we started developing different kinds of wines or styles or maybe I don't know. But after that my family moved to the south of Chile. Uh -huh. Because uh, the first one they was married with uh, the son of um, Concepcion governors. Wow. Long time okay. ago. All of the family moved over there and then we we made wine for, uh, for the family. Okay. The family. Mm -hmm. uh, how your dad arrived here to Casablanca? He gets to Casablanca in 1979, uh, looking for a cold climate area to produce Chardonnay and Sauvignon Blanc at the time. Okay. Okay. Chardonnay was the first variety of Then it was New here. Yes. I thought it was Sauvignon Blanc. No, I was no. so wrong <laughs> on my life. He planted in 79 uh, and then he has the first big touch in, in 1982. Uh, that was the first Chardonnay from Casablanca. It was uh, a Chardonnay called Amelia from another winery. Uh -huh. I will not say. This <laughs> uh, we want to know. We will find it out. Then I think in about 12 to 14 years, Casablanca was incredibly um, fast growing, growing body uh -huh. from the first 12 to 20 hectares planted in the 80s or the 70s. Um, to 9,000 hectares wow. in 1999. Wow. So it's 9,000 hectares is a lot. Yes. I mean, actually, Casablanca is a very small valley. Here, everything is very concentrated yes. in the same spot. I want to go with you to Paris because I know that you are making, you always are making special things. I want to learn a little bit about that. Let's go, guys. So beautiful. So, what do we have here? Pinot Noir. Wait a minute. But Pinot Noir, it's red. Mm -hmm. But this is Pinot Noir. Yeah, but what do you do? Uh, we start direct press. You press it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you use the yeast? Press, the, the, use? Uh, the whole bunch. Uh huh. Because when you are making for a sparkling wine or even other wines, mm -hmm. you need to use the whole uh, bunch. Mm -hmm. And that adds more structure and more elegance to the wine. Mm -hmm. And in this case, it's just the drop of wine. It's made out of the low pressure juice that we get from the first press. Okay. And the idea is to be have a, a wine that's very elegant and it's very fresh. It's incredible. It will be perfect for sparkling wine. Oh, it's ninety percent like sure that it's going to be. Ninety percent. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we still. Missing 10% and maybe it's not sparking. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! Mm. It's an incredible wine, especially for, this, for sparkling. Yeah, yeah. well, it's now, now I'm 90, 95 sure. 95. <laughs> now we know that it's gonna be sparkling, you know. Cheers, guys! Cheers! <laughs> Are to the moment. So now we're gonna have here. Well, 
this beautiful table prepared <laughs> especially for us. I feel like a royalty right now. <laughs> well, um, we're going to start with a um, sparkling wine of 100% Pinot Noir, mm -hmm. Blanc de Noir. Uh, from Casablanca also, so basically the same wine that we taste uh, downstairs. Mm -hmm. What about the color? The color is like that because we call this wine um, virgin. What means virgin? It means that it still has the yeast from the second fermentation that you, in the bottle. You didn't tell me that before. I was like, wait, that, that is the, the bubbles? Or what? <laughs> now I'm really, wow, really uh, surprised about this. I can taste some white pears, isn't it? Quinces also. Mm -hmm. um, Quinces. A lot of um, green yes. apple also. And, and then the aromas, you have the toast bread. Yeah, toast bread. That it was actually that I was, was thinking, expecting. What else was there? Like toast almond also? Also. Uh -huh. But really it, nice. it is an incredible wine. And also, it's quite long. It is. But, uh, that is actually what I like about the, the wines here in Casablanca because the aftertaste it's so long because of the wines and you can you cannot find it in everywhere. So which one is the other one that we're gonna taste? We're going to taste Pinotel. This is Pinotel. Yeah, Pinotel. I have tried before, guys, but there is always a surprise fight and I have to do for you guys. We'll try it again. I wanna do my best to do it. One of the things that I like about the Pinotel is the color. It's a very, very nice color. It is. We try to... It's kind of orange, right? It's kind of orange, onion skin. Mm -hmm. Onion skin? Mm -hmm. I have never thought of that. But it's true, as a description, it's really, really nice. Because it's, it's just perfect. Oh. Describe it perfectly. Well, the, the idea of this wine comes um, to create a wine for the friends and for family. Mm -hmm. And then we started uh, selling the, uh, the wine here and people love it. Mm -hmm. So how do you make this one? Which varieties are in it? This has an um, 83% of Pinot Noir from Casablanca. Mm -hmm. And the rest, the 17% rest is a uh, Moscatel Rosada mm -hmm. from Maule. I'm not gonna do that, guys. I promise. You. <laughs> <laughs> I have to try that. You don't waste this type of wine, absolutely. So now, what do we have here? The the other one that you pour. It's um, it's called Chardonnay Noir. Okay. It's a blend between uh, Chardonnay and Pinot Noir, obviously. This uh, is our our other of your inventions. Sort of, because I think it's not um, an invention. Um, that we made is the classical blend of champagne in France. Mm -hmm. um, the idea is to show uh, the good quality of the wines from Casablanca to create very good white wines, mm -hmm. wines with um, with personality, wines with beauty um, inside of the bottle, and elegant wines. Well, I can tell this one is definitely a Chardonnay because of the color. Okay. And which year is this? It's 2015. 15, mm -hmm. okay. So that's why the color as well. Okay. Okay, it has a beautiful nose. How you can describe this one? It's floral more than, more than fruity. Mm -hmm. And... It's very floral, yes, sir. You can see the, the, the time that wine, that the wine was in the barrel mm -hmm. and how the wine developed itself with the yeasts because it still has those aromas that are, um, that are classical for this long time with yeast wines in barrels. So cheers! This is the... <laughs> so like the acidity is not something that really bothers you. Mm. And it's really, really, really special of this area, Casablanca. Let's go to the other one. The other one? Yes, to yeah. finish. This one is called Cira Noir. Cira Noir. Yes, it's a co-fermentation of Cira and Pinot Noir. Mm -hmm. So you ferment them together? Together. 
The, the, the grapes? The grapes. Shira and Pinot Noir from Casablanca. Oh, wow. And surprise, surprise. The idea is to go to a warmer part of uh, Casablanca to uh, get us the, the Syrah earlier so I can complement it with the Pinot Noir. Mm -hmm. And also the Pinot Noir comes from a very um, cold part of Casablanca so I can keep it in the plant for more time. So how do you gonna describe this wine? Well, you can um, feel the, the aromas from the Syrah, from a cook from, from like the Syrah. That um, rosemary, as we said before, mm. also olives. Mm. Um, like black olives. Black olives and also um, like this uh, red sausage or more like uh, smoky meat. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, if you let it's it. It's more earthy, right? Yes. Mm. If you let it uh, more time in the glass and you move it a little bit, it will come out the fruit. This red fruit. Well, thank you very much, Fabio. You're welcome. For being like and being so patient about all my questions. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Yes. Cheers, guys. Cheers. And I hope that you have enjoyed this time. See you around. See you.